Does the notion of retirement even factor for you? No. For retirement you? is for people who were in a job that they didn't really like and then they're waiting for it to end so that they can live their life the way they want it to be. I am not schooled in acting. Everything I have learned, I learned on the job. I cannot really explain how I do what I do, but I know when it feels right. And then because filming and acting is so collaborative, even in a monologue, it's still very collaborative because you still have a director or, you know, whatever, right? You can feel that you are going in the right direction. And you have to trust somebody. And I cannot really explain to you step by step what is my acting process. But it has gotten me here. Acting does allow my heart and my brain and my spirit to go to places that I may not in real life um, actually go. And I am deeply curious as to the width and height and breadth of my heart, right? And, it, and that's one of the reasons or maybe a main reason why I enjoy acting so much. I would love to be in a limited series in a role that I am deeply interested in and invested in, which doesn't mean big role, it just means, you know, uh, deeply interested in and compelled towards um, and and a premium television project with with excellent production qualities and a really great cast and why premium television is because I enjoy the longer process of working with the same bunch of people to tell a story that goes on for a while. That's what I love about television. The commitment is longer, right? You know, eight episodes, one hour, you know, you're playing the same character and, you know, and you have eight episodes to fully flesh out that character. I would love to produce and be a part of the creative team behind premium television in Singapore telling Singapore stories in a style and with the type of detail that I would like to see and experience. Michelle Yeo, right? Yes. The success she's enjoyed now. Yes. Um, what are your thoughts on that and what do you think that'll do for Asian talent um, in a global environment? I know that Michelle Yeo winning this award, there is a very positive, contagious feeling of that will only help the industry because she's great. She's a great person. If everybody had the type of work ethic, attitude, kindness, dignity, and grace, you know, that, that somebody like Michelle Yeoh conducts herself every single day, I think we'll, you know, this industry would be just great. I can say that because I have worked with her. I deeply believe that Singapore, in this particular industry, film, television, theatre, performance, right? We are this close, you know, this close to being, being able to come up with productions that will also be your number one TV serial ranked on Netflix you know, in another country. And the ranking, number one, Korean drama. Why? Because they are good. As simple as that. How did they get good? That's where we need to look at process and journey at every step of the way, in every aspect of this industry. Michelle Yeoh, who hailed from Malaysia, now has an Academy Award. You know, Singapore cannot say, oh, in five years time, we also want a Singapore actor to get an Academy Award. That's working from the back down. It's not working from inside out. You cannot work like that. I am 
a person with a DNA that always feels like she needs to be worthwhile, worth your time, worth your time as a fellow worker, as a fellow artist, as a parent, as a sister, as a daughter, as a friend. <laughs> I always feel like I need, you know, as a lover. I always feel like I need to be worth your time and worth my time. When it comes to projects, somebody says, Hey King, do you want to do this? Are you interested in this? I read the script. I always like, it's always yes. And then once I say yes, I'll do it. And, and I do believe in honouring your first decision because I feel that karma, especially for, you know, for um, self-employed freelance people, you know, your reputation, you know, when you say yes to something. I mean, even though a better project comes along, you have to bite the bullet and say no if you have said yes. Because your karma will screw you up. Huh? at some point in your life, you know, I really believe in this, you know. I have this ability to really enjoy what I am doing. I still have it today. It's a wonderful thing to have, especially as you're getting older. Because it makes your day worthwhile. More and more, I'm deeply committed to the belief that you need to be smart in curating the people you invite to collaborate with you professionally and personally. And it becomes even more important as you get older. Why? You've got less years to live. You have less time. When you have less time, you must pick and choose the right people to spend your time with. You must be worth their time, they must be worth your time. No time for nonsense and rubbish unless it is the type of nonsense and rubbish that you that you like.